Are you tired of farming chaos chambers, spending all your time pumping crystals into a bunny that never gets you the gear you need? Well, boy, do I have the trick for you. <laughs> what is up, guys? Uh, today, we've got a bit of a like trick slash farm that you can do to get some crazy gear. And it's what I've been doing to prep for the Blight Car class and the farm that I'll be doing when the Blight Car class actually launches. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. So this farm takes advantage of the Wheel of Fate, which drops DLC gear, and there is a way that we can kind of dedicate a drop or increase our chances of dropping the gear that we want from the Wheel of Fate, which I want to show you guys how to do. But before we do that, uh, in order to get items from the Wheel of Fate, you need souls, and souls uh, can be pretty slow to get if you're just running through these PLCs, uh, killing enemies and doing the boss. Uh, you won't get that many, but however, if you own... PLC uh, 3, the Molten Mirrors, there is a way to get a ton of crystals very, very quickly. And I want to show you guys that right now. So, um, ideally, you're on Chaos 50 to do this farm. The You get more souls drop from enemies when you're on the higher Chaos levels. Uh, I think it's Chaos 40 and above, the drop rate for the actual souls, the crystals, or the like currency that you use to uh, get gear from the DLCs increases on like Chaos 40. I think Chaos 40 and 50 or above. Um, but basically, we're going to want to jump into this PLC. I'm just going to do these doors real quick. Uh, the build that I'm using to do this quickly is Bullet Witch. Uh, it is a, a very strong build uh, and will help us clear all this content very, very quickly. So we're not actually running this mirror. Uh, we're not going to do that room. We're not going to go do that room. We're not going to go do that room. The only room that we're going to focus on is this portal over here. And the reason we're doing that is because this portal has infinite spawning enemies uh, basically right in front of you. And you can farm infinite crystals very quickly. Um, I kind of consider this like a little bit of like the when you're farming racks in Borderlands 2 at the Warrior. You're just sticking infinity pistol and like XP farm racks. Um, basically, these blooms spawn infinitely right here and as soon as you kill one another one spawns and when they die they drop all these little ads and all these little ads and all these big blooms drop souls and as you can see uh, we've already got a few here basically i come here with my uh, ruby spite which is an auto aim pistol as soon as you get a kill and i just sit here and murder these blooms and all these little enemies very very quickly and they drop a ton of souls and they spawn infinitely so you can just sit here if you want to bring a companion build and just throw companions a pixie build uh the enemies drop ammo for you so you don't ever really have to worry about ammo but basically just sit here and these enemies respawn infinitely you don't really need to do anything uh and you get a ton of crystals you'll probably get around i would say 700 to 800 crystals every 10 minutes um I, it, depending on how fast you're killing, you could get up to a thousand in about 10 minutes, which is amazing because that's going to net you a ton of rolls at the wheel. So I just wanted to show you guys this farm. Basically, you just chill here and kill all these things. And if you're bored of the chaos chambers or want to just like put on a show or or like some music and or maybe a moxie build would be a fun thing to watch while you're doing this. Um, uh, just kind of sit here and farm some crystals. It's actually a really, really efficient farm. Uh, I'm just going to grab some of the ones that these guys dropped here. And I found this to be a lot faster than um, actually running through and killing all the bosses. Obviously, it could be a little bit more fun to run through and kill the boss. But yeah, this is an extremely efficient um, soul farm. Okay, so now that we've gotten uh, a few souls, you can stay here for as long as you want, as long as your game doesn't crash. Uh, I'm going to save and quit and then explain to you how we're going to dedicate a drop farm the wheel. So you farmed up a bunch of souls and now you want to get a dedicated drop or a specific piece of gear. Now the way we do this is fairly simple. It's still a lot of RNG, but we can increase our RNG by lowering the loot pool. And the way we do that is by not doing the mirrors. And I'll explain that right now. So the Wheel of Fate can drop any world drop piece of gear and it'll also drop pieces of gear from DLC phases that you've completed. So for example, I haven't done this mirror at all, so no gear from this mirror will drop from the Wheel of Fate. And I haven't done this mirror. Even though I farm it, I haven't actually completed any of the stages. So no gear from this mirror will drop from the wheel. However, I have done Mirror 2. The reason I've done this is because Mirror 2 up to Difficulty 3, which I just completed, um, unlocks the Miasmic Male. Now, the Miasmic Male is a class mod that increases status effect, chance, and damage. And I'm just doing this as an example, but... 
by not doing mirror three and by not doing mirror one, I've now only added the gear that I specifically want to the loot pool of the Wheel of Fate, if that makes sense. So for example, when the Blight Collar class comes out, I'm assuming it's going to drop with gear that's good for the Blight Collar. You know, that would make sense if it drops with some cool poison guns, maybe some poison spells or things that'll help the character out. And this is the farm that I'm going to be doing to get a bunch of gear for it, as well as the farm that I'm going to be doing uh, to get myself a Miasmic Mail for my Stabamancer uh, Blight Collar. Because when it drops, I'm just going to swap this save or I'm going to swap my secondary class from the Stabamancer Spellshot to Stabamancer Blight Collar. Now, when I spin this Wheel of Fate, uh, it's going to have an increased chance of dropping gear from that DLC, or it'll only drop gear from the DLC that I want. So if you wanted a Stabomatic or you just wanted to get a Stabomatic, don't do DLC 1 or DLC 2. Just do the third mirror, if that makes sense. So yeah, uh, this is just a little bit of a different way if you're... Uh, don't want to do the Chaos Chambers to farm gear. Uh, I've been getting some pretty nice things just from doing uh, this wheel. It's pretty relaxed, and you can kind of increase your chances of getting specific gear by basically only doing the mirror sections that unlock gear that you're interested in. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get a Miasmic Mail right now, but that would be sweet. We'll see if we get lucky. Uh, but yeah, I've gotten some pretty nice gear just from doing this, and obviously, like, if you want to just get a whole bunch of gear just do all of the stages of the mirror and then this thing will drop like literally all the different types of gear look i and i just got this the miasmic mail so this is exactly what i was talking about i got a gun damage gun critical hit ability damage miasmic mail with status effect damage and status effect chance um and i am at a higher percent chance of getting this because i I've only, I'm, it's only dropping gear from this PLC. So if you wanted to farm for like the face puncher or the stab of manic from PLC three, or you wanted to farm for like shark spend rings for PLC one, this is a good way of doing it. Obviously you can't like reset your mirror progress. So you'd need to do this on a fresh save. But if you guys are looking for a farm uh, to get some really cool gear, uh, this is an awesome way of doing it. And now I've got a class mod that's going to give me 45% status effect damage and a bunch of status effect chance, which I think is going to pair perfectly with the blight collar class. And obviously when the blight collar actually launches, I'm going to use this save, swap it over to the blight collar and then farm uh, this wheel and hopefully save up a ton of crystals at a time. So I could just spam this wheel and get uh, all the gear I need to start making builds together. So yeah, just a quick video on a little farm that I've been doing in wonderlands i hope you guys find this farm helpful i will be dropping this save if you guys wanted to farm for yourself uh in the discord so yeah uh, i'll catch you on the next one guys take care peace